We're back with more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is part 10. Not a lot of story progression here, just doing a few odds and ends to get some heart pieces and a new mask. To start with, we're going to go up here to the Tourist Information Center. But before that, got to go forward to the dawn of the final day. Oh yes, and I learned something very, very bad. I messed up with the pictograph contest because if you beat Woodfall, the contest closes. And I've done that, so yeah, I essentially stabbed myself in the foot. But whatever. Since I can fly back and forth, it's of no consequence. But when we go over to the witch, now that the poison is cleared, we can do something very different. So explain it to us. A little game. She flies on her broom and we try to hit the target. Okay, I'm up for it. Not aiming for the witch, the target. Oh, really now? But don't worry. There is some leeway. You can hit her a few times, but not too many. Let's do it. Let's walk. These first couple are not too bad. Okay, I could have swore a couple of those actually went right through her. Not that I care because. Ah, missed. The cam's still doing fine. Nice, halfway there already. If I didn't mention already, the magic number is 20. It's good that you've got limitless arrows here. Ugh, and that shaking isn't helping either. Sorry. Sorry. Almost there. And that's it. 20 is the magic number. But I might as well try for a few more. You know, to look cool. Come on. I was actually hit that without seeing it. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, sorry about those extra hits, but, uh, you know, all spare room up in war. My first of what I hope is three heart pieces. Yes, yeah, so it actually was quite fun. Thanks for the game. But sadly, I am never coming back to play that ever again. There's no need to. Okay, next stop, Milk Road. Because on the third day, the way to Romani Ranch is open. So we might as well take a fly down there and pick up what I think is one of the best masks in the entire game. Let's fly! Let's roll out. The path to Romani Ranch always opens up on the third day. I don't think I show this in previous videos, but this guy's always hacking away at a giant boulder. No doubt, Skull Kid is responsible for it. But whatever, here we are. There's a lot of cool stuff to do here, but not a lot of it can be done on the third day. So we'll have to find a way to open the way on the first day, and then we can have some fun here. But for now, Let's head around back, because there's a place I want to go to get that mask. Let's see, what's that place called? The Cuckoo Shack, yeah. Come on. I'll tell you, when I get that mask, doing this is going to be practically irrelevant. That first door is the Doggy Racetrack, and I'll be coming back for that a little later once I get another mask, but... Yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. Here's our goal. Actually, before I go in, better put on my leader's mask. Let's do it.
So in here, we've got a bunch of these little chicks and Grog. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this wrench down with it. Ha! Oh well. It looks like he hasn't eaten in days. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. So Grog has been added to the notebook. Alright. Ten hut! Forward! March! Move it! Move it! Move it on out! Jesus Christ, Parker Pile, you look like about 150 pounds of chewed bubblegum, you know that? Oh, that's right. Don't make any uh, effort to get over the obstacle. If God wanted to get over that, I'm sure he puts a pussy up there. Move it! Move it! Move it! Double time! Left! A left! A left! Right! Left! A left! A left! A left! Right! Left! Look for the Commandant! One for the car! Move it! Move it! What is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Didn't your mama and daddy show you enough love as a child? Now say it with me, soldiers! This is my rifle! This is my gun! This is for fighting! This is for fun! This is my rifle! This is my gun! This is for fighting! This is for fun! This is my rifle! This is my gun! This is for fighting! This is for fun! This is my rifle! This is my gun! This is for fighting! This is for fun! Get in line! Oh gosh, I'm out of Marine Corps stuff to say. Oh well. It was a good one while it lasted. But now I've got to find the last chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At least I think I've got nine. Ah, there it is. Alright, you little punk. The last horse finally crosses the finish line. Now let's go bring you in front of Grog. Hey, check this out. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. Oh yeah, it just got real. The bunny hood. What does it do? Makes you run twice as fast. <laughs> yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> well, I guess you could say I sure know how to raise a cock. Oh, did I just say that? Yes, I did, but I don't care. All right, let's get this off and switch out with the bunny hood. I'm going to be using this a lot. Check me out. With that kind of speed, I'd make it through a tough marine obstacle course in record time. So I guess we're going to say goodbye to Romani Ranch for now, because I don't really feel like pulling my hair out, well, whatever hair is left on my head, by doing the doggy racetrack. That'll be much later, once I get the proper mask. For now, we're going back to Terminal Field, because there are two more hard pieces I want to get, and then I'm going to call it a video. So, like I said before, MOVE! MOVE IT! MOVE IT OUT! DOUBLE TIME, SOLDIER! And since we're still on Milk Road, there is a horse racing track just to the right. Since I don't have my horse, that's going to have to wait. Of course, when I do the race, I'll get a mask as a reward. Not going to say what mask, but it will come in handy. Okay, here we are. Terminal Field. There's a hole somewhere in here. Gotta find it. Ah, missed. And that big bird's been following me. Gotta be very careful. Come on, where is it? I saw those butterflies flying around it, but I missed the mark. Come on. Where is it? Okay, there we go. It's go time. Stay close, and you should be able to take wear him down just fine. Oh. Nope, that wasn't good. You're going down, pal. Oh, 
That's right. Nothing to it. Sure, he got a cheap shot in, but that was a very good performance. In fact, I don't think he has that difficult to beat. Some people have trouble with him. I don't know why. Of course, everyone's different. And our prize? Heart piece number two of the three I want to get. Alright, let's get out of here, and we're going to head back to the observatory. This is what you would call a good reason why I bought that extra bean. Granted, I wanted to use it for something else, but... Whatever. When I reset the time, I can always go back and get more. Now, this bunny hood is already paying for itself. Actually, I'm going to have to put on the Deku mask again, because in order to get into the observatory, I gotta use a flower. Come on, Link, run like the wind. You're doing great. Now, where is that flower? Oh, there it is. Come on, get in there. Very good. And there's the patch of soil. Oh man, all the switching back and forth. It's a killer, man. And the water. It's the only way to get out. Alright, watch it grow. Well done. Well done indeed. Okay, now where's the door? Oh, there it is. Okay, now you may remember that we looked at the Skull Kid on the first three-day cycle. We're going to look again, but this time we're not going to look at the Skull Kid. Instead, watch what I do. Go up here and move over this way. Okay, where is he? Ah, there he is. The business club is flying. Keep your eye on him and follow him wherever he goes. You might lose him, but don't give up. He will go to his hidey hole. And when you see him go in, that's your moment to strike. This is the part where most might lose him. Yeah, because this thing doesn't go all that fast. Okay, where'd he go? Okay, well he's not flying that way. Where the hell did he get to? Saw him go in. He's mine. Why, yes, I did. Access to an easy heart piece. Thanks for letting me use the telescope, pal. Appreciate it. No, seriously, I really do. Right, let's get out of here. What? Okay, who is that? Get out of there. Oh, nice. Free money. Uh-oh. I think I may have twisted his ankle from that bump. Hey, I stole that ruby from a crow. Don't go stealing it, man. Too late. Oh, by the way, sorry about the leg. I know it was kind of mean-spirited, but hey, it was funny at the same time if you think about it. There he is. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Ah, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in here without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you keep this place a secret. 150. Uh, I can afford it, but no. I don't want to pay that much. No good? In that case, you leave me no choice. How about 100? Much better. If you refuse the 100, you lose the chance. But whatever. We got what we came for. And so I think this is a good place to stop the video. We'll watch him fly. And then I'm going to pull out my ocarina and reset the three-day cycle. I mean, granted, I've got a lot of time in the third and final day, but not a lot I really want to do, to be perfectly honest. So, I think in the next video, I'm going to take on a few more side quests and then make my way up towards the mountains. Of course, I'm not going to leave you on a cliffhanger. I'm just actually going to set a three-day cycle. So let's play the Song of Time. 
and I'll be on my way. Until next time, everybody, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>